Good morning. It's Monday and it's time for our daily devotion. Uh, today we are in Isaiah chapter 6, looking at uh, what we call the call of Isaiah. Uh, this passage also is, and be interesting for you to see if you can kind of figure out how that works out. This passage is also a, uh, a template or been used as a template for how uh, fairly typical worship happens uh, in terms of flow of worship. The, uh, we're looking at this passage because uh, it's in the Revised Common Lectionary, and we've been, we've been using the Common Lectionary for a couple of months uh, since Easter. What the hell was that? Almost not quite two months. Uh, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, use the, the lectionary this week, uh, and Sunday's sermon will be from John chapter 3, and then, then I think we're going to return to the book of Acts. Uh, most, of the, most of the passages we've used for Sunday mornings have been from the book of Acts and since Easter, and, uh, and I think we're just going to poke through Acts for a little bit uh, and see what we can learn about being community uh, and, uh, and how the Holy Spirit moves, and, and, and there's even more resurrection power in there. How we can interact and how we affect other people's lives and all of those things. Well, anyway, today we have uh, the call of Isaiah, Isaiah 6, 1 through 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled to the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him, each had six wings with two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it, from Revelation? Uh, the pivots on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke, and I said, Woe is me! I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. The most obvious song some of us might think of is, uh, uh, Here I am, Lord, is it I, Lord? Uh, uh, but the song I'm going to sing this morning is Open the Eyes of My Heart, because that's, I think, essentially what happened here. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pouring out your power and love as we sing holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 I want to see you. Holy, 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 I want to see you.